hello guys welcome to this video so i'm going to look at uh, task 18p uh, the question says open the file saved in task 18n produce a new extract from all the data that contains a new field called profit which is calculated at runtime this field will subtract the purchase price from the sale sales price okay purchase price from the sales price okay now let's get that done so before we do that let's make a mental picture of what the formula runtime calculation will look like so we're going to have profit profit is going to be um s price s price minus we have p price Okay, so this high is going to enter in the uh, run time calculation, right? So let's go ahead and open our database. So here we need to open task 18n, right? So I'm going to I'm going to duplicate task 18n. So I'm going to do make sure you select task 18n, then do Control C, Control V to duplicate that. So I'm just going to uh, rename the query to task 18 p and then i'll okay that and that will create this for me task 18p so i'll open that and then i'll go to the design view of this query now it is important that before you do any runtime calculation look at your query or your your fields here to be sure that all the fields that you need for the calculation they are all down here right so if you look at here now you see that s price is here but p price is not there so i'm just going to go to the table here and then pick out p price so i'm just going to double click there and then bring out uh, p price now the interest for this question is actually the runtime calculation right so to do the runtime calculation you want to start with the the field name which is profit and then have a colon so this colon will tell access that a formula is about to come in now what are the fields that you will need for this calculation so you're gonna have sorry so you're gonna start with the square bracket and then have s price so you want to make sure you spell it the way it looks here right s price then close the square bracket minus open another one again p price right so let me have p price like this so that be sure that the spelling with the with the field name here they are the same to be on a safe safer side right so this is how you do this now let me just explain some things the colon after the profit indicates tells access that the formula is coming in now the square bracket tells access that okay these are fields that will be used for calculation more or less right so the of course the operator minus will now do the calculation for us now when you're done you go and run it to be sure that your your calculation has been done so if you uh, subtract s price if you subtract s price from p price you're going to get 670 right good okay so let's go back to our design view and then look at the second part of the question so it contains a new field called percent to calculate the percentage profit for each car at run time this field will divide the profits by the sale price now let's do another um you know let's produce a formula for it so the field name is going to be percent and then of course we're going to start with profit profit here sorry profit oops profit here and then divide by s price something like this so this is how it's going to look like so let's go ahead to reproduce this so in fact i'm just going to copy it to make it quicker for me hoping that everything is correct right so it's going to be profit over s price so let's go ahead to reproduce that so you create you go to the the last col column here now i'm going to do it in in another way right now before you do this method you must make sure you save whatever changes 
make sure that whatever changes you made, you save it first of all. So the second method of runtime calculation, so make sure your cursor is blinking there. You want to go to Builder, okay? From Builder here, you see that your table, your query has been selected. If for any reason you don't see it up here, you can just go to your, your database, click on your database, go to Query, and then go down to Task 18P, click on it, and then your fields will come out here. Now, what we need to do is um, we have to do which field? Profits. So I'm just going to bring out profits. Double click on profit here. That comes out right there. Profit, and then you put your forward slash, which indicates division. Uh, divide by um, S price. I will double click on S price, and this is the formula that we need. You see how it produces that for you? And then you can okay that now that is not done access will give you a field name which is called expression one here right now you need to change the field name right there okay so let's change the field name to percent okay we we'll change it to percent and then that's it so the rest have been calculated for us and then we can go ahead to run it so as you can see there's a lot going on here right so let's just um you know adjust this and then this will be the calculation now you can actually format this for, to for uh, to currency but for the fact that the question never says so i'm just going to leave it like that so we can actually click here and then go to uh, property sheets and then go and format it to the the right um currency here right euro or something like that i'm not going to do that of course this the second um the percentage here also we can actually format it but i'm just going to leave it like that um if the question says so we can do that later so save your changes and i think that's about it for this particular video so thank you so much i will see you in the next one bye